Okay, so a lot happened this week, but a lot also was not filmed because I felt uncomfortable filming people. I guess basically what, I'm, what I wanted to say was this week has been hectic. Um, I of course went to one jiu-jitsu class and then I went to a lot of dinners. I had a dinner on Friday, I had a dinner on Saturday which I kind of filmed some and some I didn't film uh, because I felt uncomfortable uh, filming other people. Not because like uh, not because I'm shy of vlogging myself. It's just more of I feel like I didn't want other people to be to be in my vlog without them knowing it or consenting to it. So that's why I didn't film all my um, what do you call it? All the dinners that I went to. Also, I know I could have I could have filmed a get ready with me, but honestly, I'm a serious procrastinator and. I was already so late for my um, dinner on Friday because I finished work at 5 something. The dinner was at 6.30. I was basically gutting it from my workplace because my workplace is basically at the end of town, at the end of Miri. And the dinner was at the other side of Miri. And I had like an hour and a half to basically reach home, get ready, and go. Go to the hotel that we had the dinner for, the alumni dinner, and also have, find parking. Mind you, parking that time was impossible to find. Anyway, so then we had um, the Saturday dinner, which is the 25 years um, staff dinner. And again, I, I should have um, filmed the get ready with me, and honestly, I forgot. I just forgot, okay? This vlogging thing, it doesn't come naturally to me, at least not yet. So I'm not used to it and I completely forgot. And even then, I was late, even though I had hours to get ready. So, and on the reading aspect, I didn't read much this week. Like, maybe a few pages here and there. I kind of lost momentum. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, I've I really lost momentum because it's like I've just been so busy with everything else. So um, since reading wise, I don't have a lot, and yeah, basically I don't have a lot of footage of my usual um, video stuff, which is like reading or working out or whatever. So this video or at least this section is just gonna be me working. Basically, because my mom hired me to do, um, hired, I guess you can call it hired. She hired me to do a presentation for her association, and so I have to do a bit of research. And yeah, follow me along while I listen to Sarawak News. <laughs> So today is Tuesday and it is the 2nd of July and I just finished reading another Highlander historical romance which was The Warrior of Clan Kincaid by Lily Blackwood. Okay, the reason why I didn't um, vlog much for this book is basically not that I forgot, it's more of I didn't expect to start the book and finish it so fast basically um, I started this book like a few like last week but I wasn't getting into it plus I got busy with all the dinners and everything so I just could not read did not have the time whatsoever and then I start reading it again yesterday because I was like thinking okay I haven't read in a few days I really need to get my net galley TBR down let's just let's just read I so I forced myself to read and I read it and next thing you know, it was already half the book. And today, the 2nd of July, I already finished it. So, yeah, it was completely unexpected. What I, my thoughts about this book is, I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I'm just going to let it marinate first while I think of 
the appropriate rating to give. But right now, I'm feeling a 4 out of 5. And the reason why I give it a 4 out of 5 is because I really like the characters. I hate, no, nah, I wouldn't say I hate the female lead, which is Dareth. Um, it's more of like, I see myself in her in terms of, okay, so the story is, Dareth is the sister of Laird Kincaid, and um, they kind of want to make her go to a different castle for her safety because the castle is going to be attacked, right? And on the way to safety, she gets kidnapped, basically. And when she gets kidnapped, she was taken to meet, basically, the general, the commander of the army. And instead of... Well, she's half scared, but at the same time, she's also kind of like, damn, this boy's cute. So that's why I see myself in her, because I'm like thinking, if I got kidnapped and the kidnapper happened to be extremely gorgeous, I too would be like pretty handsome i don't mind getting kidnapped so the whole time i was just kind of like i hate her because it's just kind of like girl you need to run but at the same time a part of me is like i completely get it there i wouldn't be able to run too he's hot i mean like mm. i'm gonna i'm gonna use that time to you know feast it's a feast for my eyes basically so i'm like oh, i hate her but do i hate her because i like her you know so in terms of like the male lead i also quite like him he's very honorable there's no rapey scenes which i was scared of i was scared because it's like it's kind of normal i wouldn't say normal but eh, you it usually happens when there, it's a kidnapping story and then the sex becomes kind of rapey and thank god this did not happen in this book he's very respectful he's honorable and he's kind and he's fair and i'm just like oh my god dareth at first okay the first part the reason why i didn't want to give it a five is because i didn't like how fast they fell in love but at the same time considering the circumstances because it's a high tension high stakes type of situation because she got kidnapped this guy's gorgeous and he's kind to her and he takes care of her and I'm just kind of like who wouldn't fall in love honestly if it was me I'd fall in love too so I kind of just closed one eye to the how fast the romance was because lord knows I would do the same I completely understand earth and um and also towards the end uh the ending was kind of a 50-50 for me. The reason why I say that, spoiler but by the way, spoiler alert, um, was because Bunken, Bunken, is that how you say his name? Basically, they call him the wolf. He's the Earl of something something. And he is the guy that killed the clan, the whole Kincaid clan. And um, the main reason why he did it was because of a woman. At first, I was just kind of like, just for a woman? ill but then i start to remember well the troy thing be happened because helen of troy because paris kidnapped no i wouldn't say kidnapped but basically took her away she went willingly i think at least based on the brad pitt movie and there was a war because of a woman so i'm just like who's to say who's to say whether going to war for a woman is valid or not you know it happens in history so i was just kind of so basically this earl the wolf dude um c killed the whole clan kincaid because of this woman and this woman is the mother of the kincaid laird yeah the previous laird of kincaid and then he liked her but she didn't like him and he was he basically wanted to kill the laird to get her but what he didn't expect when he did the coup d'etat was that she didn't want to go. She would rather die with her husband and her family. So he did all these machinations. This is the, I think, the, the last book or the second last book. There's two previous books before this that I didn't read. So um, what do you call it? He did all these machinations of killing the whole clan, killing, like, at least he thought he killed the kids to get her what he didn't what he didn't plan was that she was going to be murdered so it kind of like made him even saltier so he's just like okay if i can't get her nobody will nobody will nobody can nobody will ever you know so 
I'll, uh, it's a bit meh towards the end for me. But then is it really meh? So that's why I say 50-50. And then the part that I liked towards the end was Robert... What was his last name? Robert something. Uh, basically, it's the son of the Earl. He's the he's one of the nicer... One of the good son that he has. I really hope there's going to be a spin-off because I want to know his story. Because I'm intrigued. I don't know what's up with me and liking the second male lead not really it's not really second male lead it's like the side characters basically towards the end or or at least from the books that i've read lately i've been more interested in the side characters because i'm like thinking i really hope the author you know creates stories for you because i want to know more about you girl boy person so yes, that is the update for the um, the Warrior of Clan Kincaid by Lily Blackwood. Oh my God, my memory is so bad. Yes, Lily Blackwood. Um, I'm all over the place, but I just finished it. I really, I, I enjoyed it. Okay, another thing that I didn't really like, but I can forgive is just the pacing because at first it started out really slow and then it was just whew, it was just whew. then I'm just whoa relax but considering it was like 80 80 to 90 percent of the book and we still haven't gotten like all the loose ends tied up but I think to be quite honest with uh, the review, I think I would enjoy this book more and would understand the depth of what this Earl has done to the clan, King, the Kincaid clan, if I had read the first and second book. I mean, it's completely fine if you don't read it. I still enjoyed this book completely, as all historical romance, they can be read as standalone, but I feel like I would enjoy the book more if I had read the first two installments of the book. So that is my thoughts for this book and I swear I suck at having a TBR list because I did. I did have a TBR list and then it I didn't do it. I didn't I haven't even filmed the video yet and I'm already going off plan. So basically I had a whole list of TBR that I was gonna read for July and it's going to be mostly obviously historical romance. But then I signed up myself to for two new arcs that I got from Threads and um, Instagram. I got approved for it and I just got the arcs. And the arcs is Run Rabbit Run by Juniper Hartman. And this is a hardcore BDSM erotica novel. And um, I'm still standing by Brittany Carson, I think. Yes, yeah, so these are the two new arcs that I'm going to be have going to be have to be reading my god my english that i'm going to have to read asap because i think i'm still standing i joined the book tour if i'm not mistaken and the book tour is in august and run rabbit run i'm i don't think i joined a book tour for this one but um obviously i want to rectify my previous mistakes with all my previous net galley arcs so these two i'm going to put in high priority to finish asap within these two weeks and I was also reading Highland Sword by Mae McGoldrick but I haven't been reading it because of reasons and the reasons is that I kind of lost my momentum <laughs> okay with Highland Sword the reason why I lost my momentum in reading is because I thought I was reading Mount Sinead I still don't know how to say that man's name and then suddenly it's not and it just kind of bummed me out. Nothing is wrong. Like, I haven't even read on the part where the female lead meets the male lead yet. So nothing is inherently wrong with the book. I'm just bummed out. That's all. I'm pretty sure if I push myself, I will read it. And the momentum will come back. So basically, within this week... Um, today is Sunday, by the way. Within this week, I have three books. Ah, my, my wrist. My wrist hurts from jujitsu. I have three books that I have to read ASAP. 
so yeah I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to do this vlog because I think it's I think it should be okay as long as I don't like say anything bad not bad anything like that could jeopardize the book like the plot and whatever you know I'm just probably going to film my reactions because the other um, books or arcs that I've read it's already been published so I really don't give a shit if I spoil a plot or whatever but Run Rabbit Run and I'm Still Standing it hasn't been published yet it's literally new so I'm kind of scared but I do want to film it so yeah side note I'm kind of scared reading Run Rabbit Run because it, it is going to be like okay let me just read the um let me see I am going to read the trigger warnings so the trigger warnings for run rabbit run by juniper hartman is sexual assault physical assault humiliation or degradation group sex forced exhibitionism and forced orgasms i am kind of scared not because um i don't tolerate these things it's just more of like hmm how will it be because i i said yes to this arc because after I read Killing Stalking all those years ago, it has changed my brain chemistry and I have been reading grey as shit for the longest time that I'm like, hmm, you know. Plus this book is kind of like, okay, f how I wanted to say yes to this arc was basically when I read the synopsis, it read very yandere for me. And yandere is one of the tropes from manga and manhwa that I am eh. It's a bit, it's a bit hit or miss. I love the trope, but I also hate the trope. So I'm confused. Basically, yandere tropes leave me confused. And I wanted to read this book because I wanted to see how confused I was going to be. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, side, side note. For Run Rabbit Run by Juniper Hartman... I really like how it looks. It looks so good. At least right now from when I'm reading it. Let me just show you. I'm not going to show all, obviously, because it's an arc. But I just like it. Because it's rare for me to get an arc. And it looks really nice. It looks like a legit book, you know. So here you get the title, Run, Rabbit, Run. Obviously, the rabbit. The name of the author, Juniper Hartman. And then obviously, obviously these are the thingamajigs. I forgot what it's called. Shout out to Red Fox Creative. See, I mean, like the artwork is so cool. I really, really like it. Definitely. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to reveal this, but I think it should be fine. I'm not revealing any plots or anything. So here we go. Really love it. My God, I just started reading and I'm stressed. This book has made me stressed. I cannot reveal a picture. I can't I can't talk about it much because it's an arc. It's stress. I'm so stressed right now. I'm just saying, my god, she was so close. She was so close to freedom. And then he obviously caught her. I swear, every time I read these dark romance, I imagine it kind of like a manhua. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just easier for my brain to process, you know? But my god, I'm only 6% into the book and I'm just like, girl, you better run. You better run eight as soon as you can. Just Usain bolted, girl. Obviously, it didn't happen. <laughs>